scares, frights, and other delights. <laughs> Strap in because we're running down everything we know about the horror movies and shows coming in 2024 and beyond. February is the Lovers Month. Lovers of the Undead, that is. And Lisa Frankenstein, starring Katherine Newton and Cole Sprouse, delivers the less than alive in a creepy rom-com from writer Diablo Cody and director Zelda Williams. You can talk to my lawyer. Really hope this goth phase ends soon. If you need more zombies in February, tune in to The Walking Dead, The Ones Who Live a spinoff set after the original series that catches up with Rick and Michonne, played by Andrew Lincoln and Denai Guerrera. We can make this whole damn world ours if we want to. Marching right along to, well, March, Blumhouse presents Imaginary, a tall tale about Jessica, played by DeWanda Wise, returning to her childhood home to find that an old, invisible pal still lurks in her room. Baby, we shouldn't be friends! Then, Ghostbusters Frozen Empire may bring more laughs than frights, but this fourth film in the spook-centered franchise reunites the original Busters with their younger counterparts to take on a second Ice Age. Buster makes me feel good makes me feel good. Lastly, in March, Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey is back for a sequel set in the Hundred Acre Wood. The surprise hit plans to use part two to launch an interconnected universe of dark children's tales based on public domain properties like Peter Pan and Bambi. What you wanna do that for? April showers are supposed to bring Mayflowers, but instead they're bringing The First Omen, a prequel to the 1976 horror classic, this time starring servants Nell Tiger Free, Bill Nighy, and well, <laughs> The Antichrist, of course. You don't have to be afraid. Then, Screen 5 and 6 directors Matt Bettinelli Holpen and Tyler Gillette present a new twist on the vampire myth in Abigail, pitting kidnappers against a blood sucking child played by Alicia Weir. I like playing with my phone. Now, May may be light on frights, but there is the horror scope horror Taro, starring Jacob Batalon of the Spider Man movies and Avantika of Mean Girls musical movie fame. Then June picks right back up with The Watchers, starring Dakota Fanning as an artist lost in Ireland's wilderness, and directed by Ishana Shyamalan, M. Night's daughter, making her feature film debut. And if you love the silent scares of A Quiet Place 1 and 2, Day 1 is a prequel spin-off that throws Lupita Nyong'o, Alex Wolf, and Joseph Quinn into John Krasinski's frightening franchise, with Jaimen Honsu returning from part two. I'm not sure anyone here can actually believe it. Not to be outdone by his own daughter, Master of Horror M. Night Shyamalan has his own scares up his sleeve in August, Trap. Starring Josh Hartnett and Salika, Shyamalan's eldest daughter, who makes her film acting debut after a successful singing career. August also has Aliens. Evil Dead and Don't Breathe director Fede Alvarez co-writes and directs Alien Romulus, set between the first and second films, with Kaylee Spaney, Isabella Merced, and a chestburster or two. <laughs> Spooky season begins in September with two sequels and a remake. First up, Tim Burton, Michael Keaton, Winona Ryder, and Catherine O'Hara reunite for Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, adding screen queen Jenna Ortega as Astrid daughter of writers Lydia Dietz from the first film. Then, Saw gets an 11th chapter of Mayhem and Torture after the 10th installment was a hit with fans. And the dark Danish delight Speak No Evil gets an English language remake with James McAvoy, Mackenzie Davis, and Scoot McNary on a vacation from hell. <laughs> October's no slouch in the Dread department, with its own two sequels and a remake. First, Smile gets a second chance to get audiences grinning, this time with Naomi Scott and Lucas Gage in lead roles. Then, the indie word-of-mouth cult hit Terrifier gets a third entry that continues Art the Clown's campaign of chaos. Terrifier 3 is a yuletide tale of murder and mayhem that offers more blood and gore than Santa can fit in his sack. 
And if that wasn't enough to stuff your stocking through December, The Lighthouse and the Witch director Robert Eggers presents his spin on the classic Nosferatu with Bill Skarsgård as the vampiric Count Orlock and Lily Rose Depp as the object of his obsessions. Plus, Nicholas Holt, Aaron Taylor Johnson, Emma Corrin, and Willem Dafoe round out the all-star cast of victims for Orlock. Also slated for 2024 and beyond, Chucky, American Horror Story, and Interview with the Vampire will all be back for more while Max cooks up a second season of The Last of Us and a prequel to It called Welcome to Dairy. Netflix will bring Stranger Things to a close with season five, and FX has a TV series based on Alien from Fargo showrunner Noah Hawley. Plus, Hannibal creator Brian Fuller is writing a Friday the 13th prequel series called Crystal Lake, Miramax is looking to bring Halloween to the small screen, and writer-director Smeagol, Andy Serkis, is planning a show based on The Wicker Man. Not the beast! Ah! I love my